गुरब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात्ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुर नम गुरव सर्वोकाशे भविण निधये सर्विद्या दक्षिणामूर्त नम हरि श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि न हि ज्ञा सदृश पवित्रह विद्य तत्स्वयं योग संसिद कालेनात्मा विंदती ब्रह्मापण ब्रह्म हवि ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मणाहुत ब्रह्मेन तेन गंतव्यम ब्रह्म कर्म सधिना हरि जय गुरुदेव ordinarily when we talk in terms of a grahastha and a sanyasi or a householder and a monk we speak as if they are polar opposites the general understanding is a grahastha is one who is stuck in the world and a monk is someone who is running away from the world yeah but krishna gives a much better understanding of this the in real terms who is a sanyasi who is a grahastha one for whom matter is more important than spirit is grahastha even if he wants to engage in the spirit he may struggle to engage because of various obligations is tight that is a grahastha and somebody who is able to let go of the worldly obligations little bit more easily he is a sanyasi it's called laukika and alaukika laukika means loka means the material world one who is deeply into the material world he becomes the householder or the grahastha and one who is lau alaukika one who is able to rise above this world he is a sanyasi a monk or a renunciate a monk is not somebody who has renounced actions neither is a grahastha somebody who is just acting all the time the attitude becomes important so this is where the action and non action come closer action transforming into being a grahastha or anybody in that matter who is recognizes the presence of a body and mind cannot escape actions a grahastha is one who seeks joy from the world so he needs a way to deal with the challenges of the world in a skillful way so that he can get that joy his is the path of action he tries to refine the action so that he can find a way he can navigate through these challenges of the world and still attain some joy most people come into the path for this purpose only they are stuck somewhere in the outside world whether it's at the level of the body or the mind and they are run out of options and they're trying to find is there a better option through this through the spirituality a sanyasi's outlook is different his 
outlook is mainly based on removal of ignorance in the path of yoga the problem is the mind the mind projects the world and i get stuck with its projection so i need to find a way to navigate the mind in the path of knowledge it is ignorance which makes me feel that the body and mind are more important than the spirit the realization that my true identity is my spirit and i am in essence joy which i am seeking outside the absence of this knowledge that i am joy myself that i am made up of this substance called consciousness which is nothing but joy this forgetfulness of this makes me seek that joy somewhere outside so a mind which is running outside is that of a grihastha and the same mind which has turned inward becomes that of a sanyasi when can you turn inward when you realize that i am the source of joy when do you turn outward when you become forgetful of this and then you seek it somewhere else you seek it in people in materials in relations in positions in people in positions people positions and positions are the three places where we seek happiness outside yeah so krishna makes it very clear in the very first shloka and he says these are not two different people like for example you see when you are in a silence program you are automatically a sanyasi you have cut off few things from the world you have engaged more with the spirit but the moment you are outside that program you become a householder your default is action but when you come into the silence program your default is witnessing your default is silence silence is nothing but witnessing withdrawing from the noise of the mind अनाश्रि कर्म फल कार्य कर्म कौति यसी चोगी च न निरग्निर्न च अक्रिय सो द वेरी फर्स्ट लुक वट कृष्णा सीज हूम यू कॉल ए सन्यासी ही इज नॉट मच डिफरेंट फ्रॉम हूम यू कॉल ए योगी वन हु इज ए सन्यासी और योगी इज दट पर्सन who acts engages with the world without attaching himself to the fruit of action anashritaha karma phalam one who does not depend on what is the outcome of the action but still engages in the action fully he can be called a yogi or a sanyasi sa sanyasi cha yogi and who cannot be called a sanyasi or a yogi one who abandons action you have to remember the context here as well arjuna is trying to abandon his duties abandon action and run away krishna is saying one who abandons actions you can't call him a sanyasi arjuna also says i will become a monk i will renounce everything i don't want any of this he says no 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 just by doing that you won't become a sanyasi and you won't be a yogi also why does he bring yoga in here in the first five chapters he is always talking about how a yogi should be who is a yogi now he is saying even running away from the world is not sanyasa and just dropping the actions is also not yoga here we need to understand the three types of actions no it's just a revision for us just good to go back into it karma is an action which is done with a focus on the result 80 to 90% of the action in the world is all karma you do anything because you want to produce a result or get something out of it that is karma what is the impact of karma a karma is an action which generates impressions the next level of action is called yagna where the action is more important than the result in some way you are expecting a result or you want a particular result but you are not stuck with the result you are more focused on giving your 100% to the action 
like you may do your sadhana because you think that will help you blood pressure to come down or you to sleep better all these things or you may just do it because you love being in the sadhana itself just like same thing with exercise or sports you may exercise to lose weight or you may exercise because you love that very action you are engaging in here the result is secondary the most important aspect the primary aspect is you engaging in the action 100% just engaging 100% in the action will free you from the impression of the action so a yagna will generate a positive impression a punya or a good merit what you can call it a yagna is meritorious so that's why the common understanding of yagna is a ritual that is done for the greater good this was prescribed by the rishis when the rishis the rishis were all grihastha they did not abandon like even krishna did not abandon the world janaka did not abandon the world they lived in the world but learned how to deal with it skillfully they used yagna as a tool to live through the gunas in the body and the mind and to give them a direction while their focus was on the self a grihastha who is desirous of liberation has to move through yagna because that yagna will help to purify the faculties and help him to be more focused that will come a little later on krishna explains in more detail the third type of action is akarma akarma which is a non action where the focus is neither on the result nor on engaging 100% in the action but on dropping the doership in action in witnessing the action this is akarma we engage in all these three type of actions like i said most actions we do are to produce a result that we are very familiar with we also do a certain set of actions which we like to do irrespective seva is like a yagya yagna you are not doing seva to get something you are just available you want to do that you want to engage and then you have akarma like you do a lot of akarmas unconsciously like for example driving a, your car to work or brushing your teeth some people may do even their sadhana as like an akarma without even realizing they have done it <laughs> so akarma is where impressions are not generated at all because the doership is not there impressions are generated only when there is a doership also that is a karma where you are fully conscious of the action and being fully conscious you realize that actually you are not doing the action it is happening through you you are being used as a medium for that action to happen without you doing anything already lot of actions are happening the breath is moving in and out the heart is beating so many cells are born so many cells are dying the blood is moving all over your body a lot of things are happening right now you are sitting and listening and look so much is happening when you become aware of this moment totally become aware of your body right now become aware of the contact of your body with the seat you are sitting become aware of your breath moving in and out and become aware of these words reaching your ears and then registering somewhere in your consciousness and bringing a, oh yes feel that is also a karma in knowledge you experience a karma witnessing is a karma so these are the three important types of actions as you move from an action which is bound to create impressions positive or negative to an action which generates so much positive impression that can mitigate the negative impressions to a state where you are impression free and still acting in the world you can't escape action but you can enhance the quality of your action so that you can be free from impressions this realm of freedom from impressions is liberation that's all do you see what i mean liberation is not something extraordinary it is just that realm where you can act free from impressions that's where an enlightened being is from is in the focus is neither on the result 
nor on the action but more on the witnessing of the action that is happening yeah यम सन्यासम इति प्राहुहु योगम तम विधि पांडवा नहीं असन्यस्त संकल्पो योगी भवति कश्चना व्हाट पीपल कॉल अ सन्यासा दैट इज आल्सो योगा पांडवा देयर नॉट मच डिफरेंस बिटवीन दोस टू नहीं असन्यस्त संकल्पो योगी भवति अनलेस यू आर एबल टू ड्रॉप द डिजायर्स यू कांट इवन बी कॉल्ड अ योगी Look at the word sannyasa. Sannyasa means samyak nyasa. Nyasa means letting go, giving up, ability to drop. Samyak means appropriateness in what you let go. Letting go of actions is not sannyasa. Letting go of the family responsibilities and running away from the world is not sannyasa. What is sannyasa? Letting go of your attachment to the fruit of action. letting go of doership that is sanyasa nahi asanyasta sankalpo unless you are able to let go of your desires you can neither be called a sanyasi nor you will be called a yogi and how will you be able to let go of desires when you become aware of the nature of the desires itself just like we heard in the podcast a desire fulfilled does not bring you great joy unfulfilled brings you anger and frustration a fulfilled desire gives you only short lived joy and a joy which is underwhelming and a fulfilled desire will leave you empty handed feeling a fulfilled desire will be empty handed and an unfulfilled desire will leave you frustrated and miserable and knowing that fulfilled or unfulfilled desires will only generate impressions in me i am going to surrender the desires whatever they arise as mere thoughts that is sanyas and also as you immerse more in knowledge as the dispassion in you grows you see that sanyas the desire is just an indication of lack of something dispassion is an indication of abundance of everything when that sense of abundance in me grows the desire automatically drops and look at all our desires all our desires are only for small little things in life isn't it we want some luxury we want some comfort we want some recognition we want a good opinion in somebody's eyes all these are small 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 things and anyway these are all passing phases this too will pass nothing will stay forever but still we tend to hold on to it one who notices this and says as long as i hold on to the changing body and mind my goal post keeps changing what i get keeps changing but if i can focus on that which is more eternal like my own self then what i get out of it is also very stable that is sanyasa आरुक्षोर् मुनेग कर्म कारण मुच्यते योगारूढ़ तस्व शम कारण मुच्यते वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वेरी सो मच डेप्त इन दिस श्लोक इस वन हू एंगेजस् इन एक्शन यू कॉल योगी वन हू डिसंगेजस् यू कॉल सन्यासी जनरली बट इस नो ऑन द पाथ वेन यू स्टेप ऑन द पाथ in the initial stage it is very important to be disciplined and proactive action is important action will help you to get rid of the unwanted dust unwanted rajas and tamas to eliminate you need to act but once that is eliminated you just need to settle down aru rukshor muner yogam karma karana muchit in the beginning you need to be proactive and engage in skillful action yoga rudasya once you are established in yourself then you need to learn how to let go initially learn how to act properly once you have reached a particular stage learn how to let go if you look at the eight limbs of yoga the first five limbs are all about discipline in action 
ಯಮ ನಿಯಮ ಆಸನ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಯಾಮ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಮೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೋರ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಫುಲ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೋರ್ ಎನರ್ಜೆಟಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಧಾರಣ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಪೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಗುರುದೇವ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟಿಲ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಟ್ರೈನ್ you want to go somewhere in the train you have to buy a ticket you have to plan your journey apply for leave pack your bags take a taxi come to the station get on to the train once you are on the train sit and relax the train will take you where you have to go so in the beginning discipline action skill once you have reached a particular stage relax and repose in the sun. ಯದಾ ಹಿ ನ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾರ್ಥೇಶು ನ ಕರ್ಮಸು ಅನುಷಜ್ಜತೆ ಸರ್ವ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ಯೋಗಾರೂಢ ತದುಚ್ಯತೆ ನಾ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೊಯಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಗೋ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಯೋಗಾರೂಢ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋಗ ಸೇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ and when you are not engaging in actions only to get pleasure from the world nahi indriyarteshu na karmasu anushajjate you don't engage in action only to get something out of it look all that we want look at all our so called engagement in the world what is it for gossiping entertainment movies restaurants holidays friends all of them are what you are engaging in the world to make your senses a little bit more comfortable and excited when the attitude of you engaging in action is not to please the senses that is number 1 what is number 2 sarva sankalpa sanyasi when you are able to engage by dropping your desires by dropping your attachment to the action only then you are called yoga ruda when can you come to the advanced course when you are able to do these things when you are able to engage in your sadhana without wanting something out of it i want this because when you sit in the course that is what happens you don't know what you are going to get and if you sit wanting to get something you'll be definitely disappointed in fact you may get all you may experience all those things which you don't want to experience there are people who say i am okay in the world busy in the world the moment i come to silence or sit and meditate all these unwanted thoughts and memories and rubbish they all come and disturb me distract me so what you are engaging in something not wanting to please your senses definitely we are don't do anything to please your senses in the silence program so you are engaging in something not with an intention to get pleasure from the world or from the senses and also you are sitting with an open mind sarva sankalpa sanyasi i'm going to drop all this i want this i want this and i just sit that is a yoga rut yeah so if you try to and this whole chapter the whole advanced meditation program is in this chapter if you look at it if you relate to what all you do in the silence program from the preparation to the end of it the whole shlokas all the shlokas will make sense so why is it called advanced course it's called advanced course because it's only for the yoga rudas not for the beginners for the beginners what karma karanam uchyate come on jump do yoga breathe do this do seva but once you are here learn how to let go is the yoga ruda and these are two criterias engaging in action not attached to what you are getting out of it or not wanting to please your senses from those actions and then able to let go of wanting of desires but still giving your 100% knowing very well that i may not get anything out of it but i'm ready to sit through this that is a yoga rudra 
ಉದ್ಧರೇತಾತ್ಮನಾತ್ಮಾನಂ ನ ಆತ್ಮಾನಂ ಅವಸಾದಯೇತ್ ಆತ್ಮೈವ ಹಿ ಆತ್ಮನೋ ಬಂಧು ಆತ್ಮೈವ ರಿಪುರಾತ್ಮನ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಟೂ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನಲ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ ಗೆಮ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾವಹಾರಿಕ ಜೀವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಜೀವ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನಲ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಕಂಪ್ರೈಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ the transactional reality is very essential to deal with the world to handle the body and the mind but the spiritual reality is essential for you to uplift yourself so the mind is in between the body and the spirit on one side is the body other side is the spirit a mind which is ignorant which is not in knowledge which is not well regulated well disciplined will always by default move outwards towards the body and the senses looking for joy a disciplined and an educated mind will turn inwards towards the self to find the joy here he says uddare atman atmanam atmanam na avasadayet where your mind is turning that is what will determine what you are experiencing in life if your mind is going with the body then your mind can be your greatest enemy but if your mind is turning towards yourself then it is your greatest friend it is an educated intelligent and a collected mind a mind which turns outward towards the world is a scattered mind it has got no focus do you see how a child's eye is and how an adult's eye is the child it looks at something it is staring at it it is so steady when a young boy you look at an infant but look at how we look at things every moment we are scattered because what the mind look at senses oh there is no joy there maybe there maybe there maybe there you keep on shifting your focus that's a scattered mind not a collected mind a scattered mind is your enemy a collected mind is your friend and what do you do in the silence program bring the scattered mind into one point into this moment now 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 bandhu atma atmanas tasya ena atmaiva atmana jita atmanas tu shatrutve vartet atmaiva shatruvat he just elaborates the same thing again and says one who is able to have a say over his mind one in whom the mind has not become the master the mind is a slave are you the slave of your mobile phone or is the mobile phone your slave who is bigger if your mobile phone has, is dictating your activities then that has become your master when when you say when i want i will look at it when i don't want i will keep it aside then you are the master when you are the master of your mind the mind is a good servant but when the mind has become your master then you are the slave then it is your worst enemy the mind is a perfect servant but a terrible master don't let the mind rule over you what it also means is one who realizes that the absolute reality or the adhyatmika jiva is my reality and is able to stay there for him the mind becomes a great tool to express himself to enjoy the world a person with dispassion enjoys the world more than a person with passion kasya sukham na karoti viraga hasan adi shankara says being able to enjoy see without the mind even this communication we are having is not possible language is a product of the mind understanding is a product of the mind mind means the mind complex mind memory intellect and ego all these coming together only through that we are able to perceive understand reflect realize all these can happen only through the mind but 
where the focus of this mind is the important thing. Now, if you are a yoga rudha, if you have been able to establish yourself in the mind to a certain degree, what are your qualities? How do you appear? How do you deal with the world? These next few shlokas he talks about. Jitatmanaha prashantasya paramatma samahita shitoshna sukha dukkeshu tatha manopa manayo. Jitatmanaha prashantasya paramatma samahita shitoshna sukha dukkeshu tatha manopa manayo. Jitatmanaha means one who is a master of his mind, one who has won over the temptations of the mind. The mind does not pull you around. You have got the reins of the mind in your hand. You want to get up at 5 o'clock to do your sadhana, you are able to get up. You are able to sit and want to focus on your nostrils, yes, you are able to do that. You want to say that, you know what now, a football match is happening, but that I can let go, I can watch the highlights later on, I will sit here, because this is where I want to be. That is Jitatmana. Having a say over your senses, over your mind. Prashantasya, being an, having a tranquil, being cool about life. It's okay. Not being too flustered with life, with the events, not jumping up and down. It's okay. There is an unpleasantness in the body or the mind, it's okay. There is a pleas- pleasantness, it's okay. Prashantasya. Paramatma Samahita. Established in the spell, reposed in the self. Even if you are engaging in the world, a part of you is still here. Is witnessing all that is happening, is observing intently, is aware of what you are engaging in. Paramatma Samahita. Shitoshna Sukha Dukkeshu Manopa Mana Yotatha. And you are like this in the midst of opposite. Shitoshna. At the bodily level, whether things are pleasant or unpleasant. At the mind level, Manopa Mana. Whether you are praised or whether you are insulted. Whether you are living in a very unpleasant external environment or a very pleasant, comfortable environment. In both these extremities and in between these two extremities as well, if you can be balanced. What is balanced? You have a say over your mind, you are tranquil and you are established in the self constantly. This is the benefit. This is how you say you are a yoga ruda. This is how the qualities appear. Gnana vignana truptatma kutasto vijitendriya. Gnana is the knowledge of the self. Vijnana is the knowledge of the world. Not just being in one extreme, but knowing how to deal with the world, having that knowledge. At the same time, knowing what is your true identity. Nana and Vijnana. Nana, Vijnana, Triptatma. Triptatma means one who is fulfilled in this knowledge of the world. He knows about the world. He knows about the mind. He knows about the self as well. One who is aware of the dealings of the world. One who knows how the transactional self acts. One who knows how the spiritual self is there. Kutastho Vijitendriya. Kutastha means one who is steady. One who is not shaky. Steadiness, a sign of dispassion. Vijitendriya, one who is one over the senses. Yukta ityuchyate yogi sama loshta loshtashma kanchanaha. Such a person is said to be established in yoga. One who can see wood, a piece of wood, a stone and gold in the same way. Whether it is a piece of wood, whether it is a stone, whether it is gold, in all the three, he sees just the consciousness expressing itself in different ways. Whether it is a white, whether it is a yellow color or a blue color or a red color, is so this is just a white light splitting into different colors. I've got no preference to any of these. These are all just the play of the same consciousness. One who is able to be in this knowledge. Sikhrat Mritya Uda 
ಸುಹೃತ್ ಮಿತ್ರ ಉದಾಸೀನ ಮಧ್ಯಸ್ಥ ದ್ವೇಷ್ಯ ಬಂಧುಷು ಸಾಧುಶ್ವಪಿ ಚ ಪಾಪೇಶು ಸಮಬುದ್ಧಿರ್ವಿಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ನಾಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಸುಹೃತ್ ಸುಹೃದ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿತ್ ಗುಡ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಮಿತ್ರ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ಟು ಯು ಉದಾಸೀನ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಯು ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಮಚ್ ಅಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಧ್ಯಸ್ಥ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲ್ ಟು ಯು ಉದಾಸೀನ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಮಧ್ಯಸ್ಥ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಯು ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹೇಟ್ ಯು ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ಐದರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಮೈಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಯು ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫ್ರೌನಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಯು ಐದರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ದೇ ವಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಮಧ್ಯಸ್ಥ ದ್ವೇಷ್ಯ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹೇಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಬಂಧು ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ ಸಾಧು ಚ ಅಪಿ ಪಾಪಿ ಎನ್ ಎನ್ಲೈಟನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಎ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಸಿನ್ನರ್ ಸಮಬುದ್ಧಿರ್ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಯು ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಐ ಯು ಮೇ ಡೀಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದೆಮ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಹಾ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಮ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಯಾಸ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ಬಡಿ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಂಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಬೆಟರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಗುಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ನೋ ನೋ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಯಾಸ್ಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇಂಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಸೀ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಯೋಗಿ ಯುಂಜೀತ ಸತತ ಆತ್ಮನ ರಹಸಿ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಏಕಾಕಿ ಯಥಾಚಿತ್ತಾತ್ಮ ನಿರಾಶಿರ್ ಅಪರಿಗ್ರಹ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲಿ ಹೌ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಇಂಟರ್ನಲಿ ಸತತ ಆತ್ಮನ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ರಿಪೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ರಹಸಿ ಸ್ಥಿತ ರಹಸಿ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ keeping a low profile you know there are people who boast that you know i have done 10 advanced courses i have done this i have done this much charity i have gone this year no no keeping a very low profile as if you have done nothing rahasisthita oh, okay yeah, yeah do you do yoga yeah, yeah yeah i also do it that's all stop no more more conversation you just focus on what you do but you don't you got no interest in Uh, propagate or not propagating uh, advertising that you know i did this i you know i am this i belong to this organization i have done this project i have done this um, just stage go rahasi sthita is keeping a low profile ekaki being happy in his own company is ekaki finding himself once he has found himself he is happy with his own company not hankering for company external company is ekaki yata chittatma yata chittatma means having a pleasant countenance having a say over the senses at the same time having a pleasantness in the mind is yata chittatma ನಿರಾಶಿರ್ ಅಪರಿಗ್ರಹ ನಿರಾಶಿರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಹೂಮ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡೈಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಅಪರಿಗ್ರಹ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ವೆನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಪೈಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಮಾರೋ ಸೊ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪೈಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಅಪರಿಗ್ರಹ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ನ್ಯಾಚ್
I am not getting this from you. I am giving so much. Aparigraha. I want this. I want this. I want to take this. I am not getting this. Aparigraha is not wanting anything. Look, I am here to give. I want nothing from you. I am here to give. Whatever you want, you can take from me. Aparigraha. These are the qualities of somebody who is moving towards the self, who is reposed in the self, who meditates in And what is this reposing in the self? So in next session we will see what is this reposing in the self which he said. He has told when you are reposed in the self, this is how you appear. One who has reposed in the self, one who is a yoga ruda, this is how he appears. This is how his qualities are. But then he says, what is reposing in the self? What is meditation? How to meditate? What happens when you meditate? All this we will see next time. Okay. Jai Gurudev. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makaschiddukka Bhattave Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om